away they go from the 2,000 metre marker. Towards the inside, the white blinkers of Secret Warning, Roslyn Chapel, the black blinkers, Rap Attack is right there, Baltic Amber's a little bit strong. So is Taya fighting with the riders as Pure Valor gets up to lead them. Guy from Dubai has a better position. Then Tangiero, they are followed further back by Sovereign Rain. And then comes Live on the Moon. And out the back is Magdesi. It's racing about 9 or 10 lengths off the leader. Down to the 1400 they go. Roslyn Chapel sets the fractions. Pure Valor is second. Rap Attack is third. Then Guy from Dubai. Tangiero's caught the widest of all. Then comes Baltic Amber. Secret warnings near the rail with the white blinkers. Sovereign Rain, the green cap, mid-division. Tayaz on the outside of runners. Then comes Oh Boy. Oh Boy, live on the moon. They 10, 11 lengths off the leader. Mac Desi's the trailer. Moving to the 1,000-metre disc, and Roslyn Chapel continues to lead it. Pure Valor is second, and third place, Rap Attack. Tangiero's on the outside, Guy from Dubai. Secret warning near the rail, the white blinkers, then Baltic Amber and Sovereign Rain. And then we drop further back to the field, Live on the Moon, 10, 11 lengths off the leader with Oh Boy. And then comes Tayan McDesi. As they move towards the 600, and Roslyn Chapel continues to lead it. Pure Valor, then Guy from Dubai, Rap Attack, Tangero, Secret Warning, then Baltic Amber, Live on the Moon. Top of the lane, Pure Valor, Roslyn Chapel, Rap Attack moves in for a run, Tangero's on the outside, Guy from Dubai, Baltic Amber, Live on the Moon's also getting into the race, but it's Rap Attack who goes clear, Pure Valor second, Live on the Moon, Baltic Amber, Secret Warning, but Rap Attack still goes, and it's Rap Attack, Live on the Moon's taking off late on the outside. Rap Attack's going to just make it. Rap Attack from Live on the Moon. Guy from Dubai and Tangiero. Number six, Rap Attack. Rap Attack at 680 and 230. Rap Attack, the go deputy, and goes on to score you under Keegan DeMello. Rap Attack for the Carson. Second win from 10 outings will make it home by a neck or half length. Live on the Moon, number 9, runs into second. Three lengths back to number 11, Guy from Dubai, Tangero, Oh Boy, Baltic Amber, Pure Valor, Secret Warning, Tote Favorite, number 2, Secret Warning, then Sovereign Rain, Roslyn Chapel, Magdesi. We'll take a look at the head-on. Rap Attack was always prominent, sneaks through on the inside, and then makes a break of two or three and live on the moon on the extreme right-hand side with the white nose band, starts to run at the leader. They race wide apart, but the winner will win by about a half length or so. That is Rap Attack, number six, 680 and 230. Tenth and last race still to come. Back to the studio. We've just seen the KZN Winter Challenge over 2,000 meters for the stake of 2,000 Rand, worn by the Glenn Cotson train Rap Attack. Babu Noonan, director of Gold Circle, coming down to assist us with the winning presentation. And there's a floating trophy uh, also on hand uh, to be given now to the winning owners, who are unfortunately not with us uh, this afternoon. Uh, that's owner Brian Bernard. Well done to you, Brian. Uh, this horse has done superbly well for you this afternoon. But we'll have a chat with. Uh, uh, Glenn Cotson, uh, the winning trainer of uh, number six, Rap Attack. And uh, Glenn, firstly, the, the source may have been a bit too high up in the ratings and uh, he's dropped down and off a more competitive mark now. Yeah, probably. Um, but, you know, his last one was a cracking run in a very strong race. And in the mile, uh, the, the, the Colt that beat us came out around second. So that gave us a lot of confidence. Um, I really didn't think that, I thought he let it go too soon and uh, just chatting to Chuck, I said, geez, what, you know, what was the rush? He said, last time out, he took his time to unwind over the mile, but today was instant, it was there, so uh, 
uh, I think he, he got him by surprise, but it was a, a lovely win and uh, well done to Brian Bernard, a great support of the game and I uh, just thank him so much for his support. Well done to yourself and your team as well, Glenn. You know, uh, the horses are looking well and the results are there, so you, you mustn't be uh, too disappointed with the way things went today, especially with final judgment earlier on this afternoon. No, she ran a cracker. Um, the string, uh, we're a bit slow in starting this year, um, but they're starting to finish off, so uh, please go we end the season off uh, on a high. I'll please give our best to Brian as well. Thank you very much. Well done, Glenn Cotson, uh, the winning trainer. And Glenn, if you can also accept that floating trophy on behalf of the winning owners, who are Brian Bernard. And uh, well done to uh, the winning owners there. Glenn's uh, son wants to come through for the photo. Come through, young man. Uh, well done to the winning owners there. And of course, uh, Brian Bernard and his family. And it's a lovely floating trophy uh, for the KZN Winter Challenge 2000 meters. Uh, the gentleman that takes care of. Uh, uh, rap attack is Luanda, so well done to the groom Luanda. He's done an outstanding job here. Well done, Luanda. That's your uh, prize from uh, director of Gold Circle, who is Mr. Babu Nana. Now, horses have been earning points throughout uh, this uh, KZN uh, challenge, and uh, the trainers have been accumulating points. And uh, we've got the top three trainers. Uh, of course, uh, Tony Riverland finishing back in third. So well done to Tony Riverland. Uh, he was the third place finisher in the challenge. Well done to Tony. And uh, he'll get his uh, stake check there. Uh, second place was Greg and Karen Anthony. Unfortunately, they're not with us today. So well done to Greg and Karen Anthony for that second place. And the leading trainer in the series, trainer Dean Kanamea, who is on hand. So well done to Dean. Dean, come through, except that uh, uh, Winning check there, and well done to the first place trainer in the series, trainer Dean Kanamea. But a, a good win here for Rap Attack in race number nine. And again, thanks to our director of Gold Circle, Babu Nanan, coming down and assisting us with the presentation.